the day and drama life, the evolution of Disney princesses. Oh no, my life is going pretty normal. My stepmother wants to kill me. I'm going to take a little nap while I wait for my Prince Charming to arrive and save me from this. <laughs> Sounds familiar, right? If not, this behavior was that of the first Disney princesses. Snow White, Cinderella, and Aurora. Created in 1937, 1950, and 1959 respectively. Yes, the three share a complicated life. But they are also characterized by not doing anything themselves and waiting for someone to save them. Obviously, this is a problem for the advancement of society because it creates kids and especially girls who expect a prince to save them from their daily problems. And surprise that life is not like that. Besides, a girl, princess or not, can manage quite well without a prince. Thirty years later, from the depths of the sea, Ariel arrived. A rebel girl who disobeyed her father to break through the natural borders. She was followed by Belle and Jasmine, who also chose to avoid the imposed social conventions and set aside prejudices. But nevertheless, of these three, it could be said that the one that got the furthest away from conventions was... Drumroll. <laughs> Belle. This princess, in addition to teaching us that beauty comes from within, also instilled in us that it is okay to be different. So you like to read, well then read. In the late 90s, Pocahontas and Mulan marked a before and after. Their strength and tenacity taught girls and boys around the world the courage to fight for what one wants, either for nature or family. Mulan also enters a world of men, what the army was like, to protect her father and prove that she is as valid as any other man. And with the turn of the century, Disney innovated with their princesses. You have the first working princess, whose main dream is to open a restaurant. Rapunzel does not wait in the tower to be saved, in fact it is she who saves Flynn. And Merida stands against the idea of being an object for which the princes must fight for. And last but not least, the current princesses. Arna, Elsa, and Moana. Let's start with Ma Arna and so we leave the spoilers for the end. We love her passion and determination, which leads her to enter the sea against her father's will to save her people from a curse that ravages the island. And there is no trace of a love story, since it is not always necessary. We also have the two sisters that everyone talks about, Arna and Elsa. These two protagonists show two different types of women. Both are strong and fighters, but each one acts in a different way. The best of both is that they learn from their mistakes and evolve as people. For example, in the first movie, Arne is about to fall into the cliches of a needy princess, but simply to learn from what not to do. That is careful who you fall in love with, and Elsa single and whole. In the same way, the men of these movies have also changed. They are no longer those ideal princes that were even considered perfect, but now they are normal men with their virtues and defects, and they are simply good companions of the protagonists, in short, the evolution of the princesses has revealed a much-needed perspective. A strong and free woman. Who's your favorite Disney princess? Tell us in the comments and tell us why. And you already know, if you like these videos, subscribe. See you in the next video.